Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about C program for Fibonacci series using recursion. First write as include st dir dot h header file as include conio dot h header file and hereafter let's write function int if and add here pass the parameter int n1 and uh, add here use if condition if n1 double equal to 1 or n1 double equal to 2 then return 1 as return n1 minus 1 plus div n1 minus 2 now hereafter I'll go to hereafter write white main function white main and uh, inside or take two integer time variable int i n write to a printer function enter the number Now next write a scan of function percent d and and percent n and here after write one more time print of function Fibonacci numbers till percent D R new line N and on next write for loop for i start from 1 give the condition i less than equal to n i plus plus and uh, next inside write printf function again printf percent d slash n FIP and uh, in last right get search function. Now let's uh, compile the code. No error found, and now I'm going to save Vivo. Nike dot C now run the code no error so right here I am going to enter 4 so if you Nike number till 4 are 1 1 2 3 and right here 
Let's try to get a skin function. Now compile it, uh, run it again. Enter the number 5. So I have Fibonacci number till 5 are 1, 1, 2, 3, and 5. Next, I'm going to show you the way of execution of this program. So first, uh, I'm going to you give a breakpoint at the function. So breakpoint comes, and uh, hereafter. Now uh, let's go and uh, click a uh, step over side here. First uh, compiler comes to uh, main function and uh, let's press F8 and next uh, that go to clear skin function and next enter the number and that go to N by using a scanner function. So first time I'm going to enter 4. Now press enter. So at your control comes to this point, we will key number till upper same T or N. So this all are displayed into the output screen. Hereafter press F8 again. So at your control comes to for loop. Hereafter press F8 again. So at your first term, I value 1. So at here, or percent D, because so this all integer tab, or slash and for new line, pip. So at your pip, I value 1, that to say. So here after, proceed, press F8. Control comes to our fifth our function. So at your int n1. So at your n1 receive i value. So i value uh, 1 at here. So n1 become 1. So now next press f8. So at here that check the condition if n1 double equal to 1 or n1 double equal to 2. So this condition is true n1 double equal to 1. So that return or 1. And hereafter that out from or fib function blocks. Now press F8. So I turn this print 1. So if you are going to see the output, now click on window and use the screen. So look at them, this is printing 1. Now press F8 again. So again, control comes to off you. So add here. Add here or uh, that increase by 1. So add here first time value was 1. And or uh, that increase. So value become 2. So add here. Or uh, this value or uh, that receive 2. Now press F8 again. So check the condition. N1 equal double equal to 1 or N1 double equal to 2. So N1 value this time 2. So here after press F8. So I turn that return 1 again. So let's so see on output screen. Oh, one more time. So I turn auto or this going out. Press F8. Now this will print 1 again. So let's see. So at here I am getting one value again. Or now press so so at here after printing that increase the value of or I value by one. So at here I value was two. Now this time I value become three. 
check the condition 3 less than equal to full condition to here after that go inside so at here fib uh, become uh, at here fib uh, 3 so that will call the fig function again press f8 so it called fig function at here again so n1 value receive 3 and hereafter press f8 so at here check the condition n1 double equal to 3 n1 double equal to 3 that's not true n1 double equal to 3 so if condition is not true press f8 so that go to as spot so at here 3 minus 1 and uh, 3 minus 2 so this has become f2 and this will become f1 so right here the, look at this this function fib and this so function called inside or function that called recursive function press f8 again that recall recursively uh, control comes to this point fib1 press f8 again or uh, that check if n1 double equal to 1 or n1 double equal to 2 so at here or 3 minus 1 or 2 and 3 minus 2 1 so this condition is true so that return 1 press f8 that out again now that call fifth function again check the condition condition true that I can return 1 again So right here 1 plus 1 2 so this will print 2 so right here uh, let's so see output screen so look at the 1 plus 1 2 it's on display now here of 2 um, i value was 3 and uh, check increase by 1 so 3 plus 1 4 Check the condition for less than equal to 4 condition true. So hereafter that to go inside. So fib. So this will again call the fib function. So i value for this time. Now press f8. So it call our fib function. N1 value now this time 4. Check the condition. Condition not true. So that will go to else part. And uh, hereafter. 4 minus 1, 3, and 4 minus 2, 2. So, fib 3, fib 2. Here after again, recursively call the fib function. So, right here, check, check the condition. Condition not true. Again, that go to as part. Return uh, fib n1 minus n, n1 minus 1 plus fib n1 minus 2. Again, that call recursively here after check the condition condition true and uh, that return 1 again that call fib function check the condition condition true 1 1 uh, 1 return 1 1 minus 1 2 again that call fib function at here condition 2 1 plus 1 plus 1 or uh, 3 now uh, that return uh, after printing this that return r3 uh, so let's uh, see output screen so right here the value r3 uh, it's returning so 1 plus or uh, even key number till 4 or 1 1 2 and 3 so if you press enter so control comes to get ch function if you press f8 so again this will show the output screen and after that that control comes out from main function so this is the way of execution of this program so i hope that you understand so thanks for watching see you next time